Hello everybody and welcome to week number two in our Wake Forest Demon Deacon Dynasty that has spanned over seven years to this point. Before we get into the first game of the season against the Tulane Green Wave, we have to break down the matchup, see what's happened through one week of the 2020 college football season, and see who the Heisman leaders are. So let's get into it. The Demon Deacons and the Tulane Green Wave. It's in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So the Deacon fans will come out to start fresh for 2020. If you take a look at this game more in depth, well, the ratings go to Tulane just because of better defensive rating. But that doesn't mean anything. Kirk Herbstreit thinks the Deacons are favored. We think the Deacons are favored in every matchup. We're gonna find out what they have in store for Tulane when we get there. The schedules for each team, it's very, very clear that Tulane has the tougher schedule. They play UCF, they play USF, they play Wake Forest, they play Tennessee, they play Houston, they play Navy, they play Memphis. For the Demon Deacons, all we got is Florida, Georgia Tech, Louisville, Clemson. If we're going by preseason schedule strength, you have to give it to Tulane. All the time record for Tulane, 542, 649, and 38. Their bowl record is 6 and 7. They're out of the American Conference. And they have five conference championships. Their last one coming in 2016. For Wake Forest, their last conference championship came in 06. They have two total. They're out of the ACC. They're 8 and 7 in bowl games, winning their prior two. And all time, 471, 659, 33. The key players for each team. McQueen for the passing game for Tulane. McQueen for rushing. And Jones for receiving. So their quarterback is a scrambling quarterback. He can run when he needs to. Same thing though for the Demon Deacons. Reach Miles. We're going to look to him probably to carry the load most of this year. Ryan Caldwell and receiving. So it's going to be a very interesting matchup. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Heisman watch now. Going into the first week of almost every team in college football, Terrence Peterson, the redshirted sophomore, Scrambling QB from Alabama. They are ranked number two in the country right now. He currently is in the lead for the Heisman. Mark Young for Oklahoma, second. Ryan Thomas for Bowling Green. He's third. Fred Williams for Missouri, fourth. And then Jim Ward for Illinois is fifth. Scrambler, 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 scrambler. Only one balance QB. That's the kid from Mizzou. So, it's going to be a fun year in college football. The top 25 polls, how they stand right now. Some teams have played, some have not. Notre Dame at 1, Alabama at 2, Miami at 3, LSU, Navy, Missouri, Iowa, Ohio State, Houston, USC are top 10. Georgia, Florida. Arizona, Arkansas, Northwestern, top 15, Bowling Green, San Diego State, Rutgers, Auburn, Texas, Illinois, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Georgia Tech, Ohio, your top 25. Your 26 through 30, Mississippi State, Virginia, South Carolina, Michigan, Virginia Tech, and Army. South Carolina dropped out after they lost. So, some teams have played, some haven't. Let's check out some of the teams that have played so far. We'll start with Georgia. They beat Ole Miss 13-3 at home, 
And now they have number nine, Houston. Pending Houston's game against Georgia for their first matchup. So, it looks like a lot of teams are on a bye week. And guess what? That's A-OK -okay with us. So, Georgia, they have Houston this week. So, that's going to be a fun matchup. Florida, one of the teams the Demon Deacons play, they handled UNC 49-28. Now they face Arkansas 14. Arizona handled Hawaii. They have BYU. Some other games. Auburn 42-33 against Texas. And then they're at number three, Miami. Miami wins that. They're setting up for a good year already. Texas at number one, Notre Dame. Notre Dame wins. It could be Notre Dame Miami conference and not conference but championship preview in the making. North Carolina, we already covered, they lost to Florida. That's all the teams that have played inside the top twenty five. Not a lot, maybe four or five at the most. So what we see from the Demon Deacons in week two, I see a lot of Richie Miles. I see a lot of Ryan Caldwell. And I see a lot of pressure coming from that D-line. Come back next week when the Demon Deacons take on the Twin Green Wave from Winston-Salem at BB&T Field. We'll see you there for 2020